Okay, we're back for part two of our new catalog launch party. Welcome back. This time we're going to be talking about celebration. So welcome, welcome. Glad you're back. Looks like my camera's just a little bit wonky. Good morning, LaDonna. Work on that just a tiny bit. Good morning. Ready for part two. We're gonna be talking about celebration. And I've got several samples to show you. We'll wait just a minute for people to be able to hop on and find it in their news feeds. So excited that so many of you were able to join for our catalog stroll. And I hope we were able to point out some things that you had not noticed in the catalog. Still a little bit crooked, aren't I? Uh, celebration. Oh, okay. Okay. Good morning, good morning. So Sherry, let me know when you get back on if you did receive a catalog or not. If not, we have plenty. Sherry said she didn't receive a catalog, but she received the other package. Oh, okay. Now I understand. I was a little bit confused, but now I understand. Donna is back. Welcome back. And Sherry's back. And Cassandra's back. Good morning, everybody. Awesome. Okay, our next portion of our new mini catalog launch party and it's funny because it's the January to June mini catalog so a lot of demonstrators are calling it the JJ catalog so I thought I would share that lingo with y'all that cracks me up but now we're going to be talking about celebration so many of you know that celebration is an awesome awesome promotion that Stampin Up offers and in the past it has been for January, February, March each year. They're making some changes, and I have to tell you that I am really, really excited about the changes that Stampin' Up! is making here in 2021. So, Celebration is only going to be January 5th through February 28th. And then we're going to have another celebration later in the year. It's going to be July and August. So I am super excited about having two different times that we can earn free gifts with purchase. So we're gonna talk a little bit about, as a customer, how you can take advantage of celebration. So we've got this awesome brochure, and it is filled with products and samples, but everything inside of this brochure is free. There's no prices, because these are gifts that you can earn. So I'll just quickly flip through the little catalog. Um, there's several stamp sets that you can earn. There's four designer series papers, which that makes me very excited. Love, love, love designer series paper. We have most of these items. Um, demonstrators have been able to earn celebration rewards all during the month of December. So that's awesome so that I've been able to create some samples and get um, familiar with the products. Now, I may still slip up a little bit with the names because I'm still learning. But we'll do our best. So just kind of going through the brochure and showing you the flower and fields. Oh, it's the first one I'm gonna show you this morning. It's probably the first celebration paper that I fell in love with, but I'm in love with all of them now. Lots of cute stamps and beautiful stamps with lovely fonts. You're just gonna love them. Let me go back one page because um, the first few that I showed you, papers and stamp sets, those are a $50 level gift with purchase. So when you place an order of $50, you're able to select one of those. And you've got this little icon that tells you if it's for a $50 purchase or $100 purchase. So just look out for that. Now there's a couple of items, and this stamp set is one of them, and I'll be showing it to you shortly. It is, I believe, 17 stamps 
in this stamp set. So it's kind of like a double stamp set. So it's at a $100 purchase level, but amazing, amazing stamp set. You're gonna love it. And then also this bundle. So you get not only the paper, but the stamp set as well at the $100 level. And it coordinates with, oh, I can't remember the name. There's a stamp set um, and punch Very in nice. Bear, no, but the one in the mini catalog. There's a stamp set and punch in the mini catalog that's a strawberry. So cute. And so it pairs perfectly with that. And then we'll keep going here a little bit. And when we get to this section, hosting. So there's benefits for being a customer. There's benefits for being a host. And I don't really do in-home parties. And of course, right now we really can't. I don't usually do Facebook parties. If that's something you're interested in, I will certainly learn how to do that and offer that for you. But you can, if you want to, let me know and I can get you some catalogs if you want to just do kind of a catalog party and get some outside orders. Because when you have a party of $300, you're able to get this super cute stamp set for free along with your other host rewards. And this stamp set coordinates with several of the punches that you probably already have. So you can host in a couple of different ways. You can host a party and gather orders. And when you reach that um, $300 threshold, you would earn this. Or you can also host your own order. So starting at an order of $150, you earn host rewards of 10%. And then at $300, it increases. And then at $450, it increases more of your host rewards. And you also select a half-priced item. And I believe it's $600 that it goes up. So lots of great opportunity to earn even more free product. Uh, sweet berry. Sweet berry. Sweet strawberry bundle. Oh, okay. Do you have, who said that? LaDonna. LaDonna. Said that. Thank you, LD. It's really, really cute. You got got uh, Diana Hughes, Baby Ruth, Hi, Diana. Hi, Judy Baby Pierce, Ruth. and Jan Miller joining in. Well, hello, Jan Miller and Judy. Thank you all for coming back and joining in. I also want to, uh, speaking of joining, I want to talk to you a little bit about joining Stampin' Up! during celebration. It's always a great deal, but during celebration in January and February, you will also get five packages of six by six designer series paper added to your kit. So this is the um, in color for 2020 to 2022 designer series paper pack. And I just wanted to flip through this to show you that there's a couple of different designs. And so all of the paper packs have the same designs, but of course the different colors. So regals and brights and subtles and neutrals and then this in color paper pack there is a slight misprint in the brochure it says that you will get six packages but it's not it's five packages which is still almost a 60 dollars value added to your starter kit it's 57.50 i believe so the way it works when you join stampin up you just purchase the starter kit and that means that you do become a demonstrator. What it doesn't mean is that you have to hold classes, do Facebook Live videos, and have catalog launches. You don't have to do any of that. You basically become a VIP shopper, and you purchase from yourself, and you get a discount. So I kind of equate it like if you had a Sam's or Costco membership, this is kind of like having a Stampin' Up! membership, and you are able to use the perks and benefits of being a demonstrator, but there really is no obligation. Now, if you want to stay active, there is a quarterly minimum, and I'll be glad to explain that to you if you're interested in more information, but it's not something that you have to do. So right now, if you were to join Stampin' Up!, you would actually be a demonstrator all the way through the end of July, even if you made no other purchases. And at that point, you would just drop as a demonstrator and you would go back to being a customer. So there's, you know, there really is no risk. You can kind of test drive being a demonstrator. You can see the perks that you get from Stampin' Up. Um, one of the things is we have all been ordering these products for at least a month now. Those of us that went to on stage for a couple of months, we've had our hands on these products. But we've been earning celebration rewards. We get to see things 
like a VIP release. So we get to see things early and purchase things early. Well, welcome, welcome. So if you're interested, let me know. You would also become part of our team of super inspired stampers. I think we have about 22, 23 people on our team right now. It's an awesome group of crafters. We um, support each other. You know, a lot of times we go through rough patches in life. And so it's um, not only a team, but also friends and a support system. Um, we do offer, I offer some training. We have a separate little side group for those that are interested in more business-minded things. But that is not required. It's just there if you want that support. So let me know if you're interested in joining Stampin' Up. And like I said, even if you just want to try it through um, July. Okay, let's get to the fun, really fun stuff. First up, I'm going to show you the amazing Touch of Ink stamp set. Bring it just a little bit closer so you can see. If you love hummingbirds and butterflies, this is a stamp set for you. It's a two-step stamp, and it is really meant to be very artistic. You're going to find that those um, shading stamps don't line up perfectly with the image, and that is okay. Now, this is a 12 by 12 designer series paper pack, this flower and fields. I just cut this down so I could show you easy on camera the different papers. So this is actually the B side of the paper. And then you have the A side of the paper. So it is a fabulous designer series paper pack, 12 by 12, two sheets of each design. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And I was really drawn to this paper when I first saw the Celebration brochure, and I really love it. So let me show you a few projects made with these supplies. Some of you, if you watch my Facebook Lives on Wednesdays, will have seen this. So again, that brings in that stamp set, that You Are Amazing stamp set that is part of the coordinating products with the You Are Amazing product kit, project kit. So this is one of the cards that I created. And then this is one that shows the beautiful butterfly. And what I did here was just use Bumblebee ink to use the shading stamp. Whoop, that's the hummingbird. To use the shading stamp of the butterfly. I stamped it with Bumblebee. And then I did that rock and roll technique that we learned a couple months ago where you just kind of roll your stamp through the ink pad and I used Poppy Parade. So it just added a little bit more color. Now I have to tell you, and I may even have, yes, I do. I have another butterfly that I worked on and you can see that this looks like a hot mess, but when you fussy cut it, this is what you get. You get this amazing butterfly. Sandra raised her hand. She was ready to <laughs> Cassandra, ready, to yeah. ready to fussy cut? I don't think so. But it was not hard at all to fussy cut. And then what I did, because it's hard to cut out the body and the little antenna and stuff, I just stamped it onto that stitch circle and put on that fussy cut butterfly wings and body. So that's how I did that to create that little guy because you just can't fussy cut those antenna. But that is a super easy way to make a really pretty project. Now you're also going to see in this card, which is a bridge fold, I did this one for a swap that I participated in with other demonstrators. I'll bring that closer so you can really see that hummingbird. Again, just added the color from the stamps and it didn't line up super, super well. I grabbed my water painters. Do you have those over there, Dale? Grab my water painters and began to move that ink around a little bit. Added a little bit of red, added some blue. So this is a great way to make something that looks super, super artistic, but it really is easy. So in the annual catalog, we introduced these water painters. In the past, we had the aqua painter 
and it had a couple of different size tips. But I want to show you the three different sizes of tip on these water brushes, water painters, and this is what I love to use to color. It's super, super easy, and especially when you're going to fussy cut the, um, I'm sorry, Cassandra, when you're going to fussy cut that image, it is a great way to apply that ink or move it around. Here we have another hummingbird done in that same fashion. And this one was done for a tutorial bundle that I'm in, involved with. So again, just added that color, moved it around a little bit. You can tell that every hummingbird is going to look just a little bit different because in nature, every hummingbird is going to look a little bit different. Another super, super simple card that I created for a swamp. Just used a little bit of um, mossy meadow twine to make it look kind of like a leaf effect and just really featured the designer series paper. So as you can tell, I love this paper. I love this stamp set. It's been so much fun to work with. So let us know if you have any questions about the flower and field designer series paper and then the A Touch of Ink stamp set. Now I will tell you, I actually won this stamp set when we went to our virtual on stage. So I was really, really excited when I got it. It's a beautiful set. Okay, next up. And I may need help. Do I need this paper? No, here's the paper that I need. Next up, we're going to talk about that Berry Blessings stamp set and designer series paper. So let me get these again. I cut the paper down. It is 12 by 12. I may just show you each one because this is such a pretty, pretty paper. I think you need to see it a little bit closer. It's beautiful. And again, the bright colors. I just love it. That's kind of a mixture of berries there. Dale kind of thinks this one would be, what would you say, dewberries, that type thing? Yeah, blackberries, blueberries. Blackberries, blueberries. Really, really cute. Again, you've got that watercolor kind of feel going on. Could also be uh, mulberries. Mulberries. So pretty. But I did cut this down just so that it would be a little bit easier for you to see on camera. So now let's look at the B side. They're very, very cute. The little seeds. It's kind of a watercolor. This is super cute. That's on the back of the blueberry paper and it's adorable. This little check design. And this is Granny Apple Green, which is a color that I don't use a lot, but I have been lately. So just really, really cute and so summery. Easy to get inspired with. Let me bring that stamp set a little bit closer too. Again, a two-step stamp. So this is an awesome deal with a $100 purchase. And I have a couple of samples to share with you for this. First up is this little blueberry card. And this is Pacific Point and Granny Apple Green that is paired together. Your two new favorites, right? Uh, they really are, I'm loving them. So just a very simple little card. Look at this font, you guys. So fabulous. So let me bring that back in again so you can see those sentiments better. So fabulous, you know, I love a good font. So this is just a beautiful script. I wish my handwriting looked like that. So, right. so pretty. Mary White wants to know if the hummingbird stamp is in the catalog. It is in the celebration brochure. It is part of the A Touch of Ink. And it's towards the back, Mary. Let me find it for you. It's towards the back because it is with a free gift with a $100 purchase. Okay. There it is. So let's see. It's on page 12 of the celebration brochure. And it is absolutely fabulous. And I love hummingbirds anyway. 
So that's your first sample with this really cute paper. And then I've got one more to show you. And I kind of have to tell on myself, we had a bingo event for team in December and we purchased all of the ribbons and embellishments to um, give away as prizes so that each person got a prize patrol. So um, I used up all my pre-order with prize patrol. So I'm having to kind of pair with some of the annual catalog product as far as ribbon and embellishments. It's working out fine because you know that our products coordinate and I've got some other items some of the embellishments and things on order now so I'll be sharing those with you in the next couple of months so this again super fun I just made this little kind of peekaboo here so you got to see both sides of the designer series paper so again this is an awesome stamp set and 12 by 12 paper pack that you can receive free with a $100 purchase and then we will move on. So I've tried to kind of pair, excuse me, stamp sets along with the designer series papers. Where's my paper this time? And this one, I went ahead and cut in a six by six. I don't know why, but that's just what I did. Again, this is a 12 by 12 designer series paper pack. Really pretty flowers and such great colors. You've got the Rococo Rose, Night of Navy. Isn't this Seaside Spray also? I think so. Yes. So very, very pretty paper. And I'll show you the B-side in just a moment. Look at that, isn't that a cute design? So inspiring. And I have some samples with this as well. Very pretty. And now let's look at the B side. So there you've got that Rococo Rose. Got a couple of designs in Rococo Rose, which is not a color that I use a lot, but I have been lately. And then got a couple in Night of Navy. These are both really fun. And then you've got a couple in Old Olive. So very, very cute. If you are not really a floral person, then the B side, because these little guys, they're really cute flowers. So another very pretty paper, free with a $50 purchase. And then I've got a couple of stamp sets that I use to pair with this paper to create some projects. The first one is Approaching Perfection. Now, if you watched my Facebook Live, I think last week, is when I showed, just this past Wednesday, is when I showed a couple projects with this. This stamp set is a little bit sassy. I like it. It's fun. And then also the Healing Your Heart stamp set. And this one only just arrived yesterday, so I made um, a sample or two with this. Y'all know I love fonts, and that's another beautiful script. I wish my handwriting looked like that as well. So very, very pretty fonts there. So let's jump into some samples with those. These are some that you have already seen if you watch my Facebook Lives. That happy birthday. Just very, very simple stamping on designer series paper as well. And then I know a couple of you went in and recreated this card where you actually um, are able to no, that's not the one, is it? That's just one that I made to show off the designer series paper. This is the one I'm thinking of where we cut in on the side. The other one. Mm -hmm. And you're able to see both sides of the designer series paper. So I know several of you did case this project and I love that. I love when you recreate what I'm sharing. So there's another one. And it's awesome. So it's hard to glue down the beautiful designer series paper. So to be able to show both sides of it is just so much fun. And then this is one that I created yesterday with that new stamp set that arrived. I just love the font on that. Thought it paired really well with this paper. 
And then here is just a very, very simple sympathy card. But I love the way that it turned out. So that's some samples. And this is called Paper Blooms, correct? I think so. I'll have to look right quick. I'm still learning the names. Let me look. Yes, Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. So I love this paper as well. Gosh, Stampin' Up! made it hard for us to decide, didn't they? Lots of beautiful choices. Cool. Do we have a question? Well, the, the, the bank loan to resolve. <laughs> the gotta have it all button? I know. But what's awesome is celebration is also a great time to stock up on envelopes and, you know, our white cardstock. We now have a new supplier for white cardstock and we're, we're able to purchase the basic white products. So our Whisper White went away. It's kind of sad to me, you know, with this pandemic, we lost um, the mill that had provided our Whisper White cardstock for many years. It went out of business permanently because of effects of the pandemic, but Stampin' Up! has found a new source and we now have basic white products and they are available for purchase. Now, I mentioned earlier when we were talking about the ice cream corner suite that if I purchased that collection of products, then I would probably get the Oso oh Ombre paper as my celebration reward. And this is why, because it is such cute paper in such cute colors. So you've got four different colors actually. And I can't remember now how many papers you get, but it's a lot. 48, 48 but I mean of the different colors so it's awesome because there's only four colors in this paper pack and so you're able to make multiples of cards like a lot of times I do so it's got the little bubble pattern and then also just that kind of um, ombre watercolor wash look so really really pretty again granny apple green Bermuda Bay I think it's um Petal pink, and then, oh, is it gorgeous grape or Holland Heather? Dale's gonna look right quick. That little bitty writing. It's, uh, does it say? Blackberry Bliss. Blackberry Bliss. Okay, yeah, I messed that Cocoa up. Rose. Oh, Rococo Rose. Okay, messed that up good. But anyway, it's beautiful paper, it's fun paper. And so I do have a couple of samples using it and also the Darling Donkey stamp set. So this has been a really, really popular stamp set choice for celebration rewards with Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And I bet it's going to be with customers as well. So the first sample that I have is a little birthday card using the Oso oh Ombre paper and then also the Darling Donkey stamp set. Now this donkey was colored using the water painter. So I'll bring that in a little bit closer so you can see the shading and depth that you can get using those water painters. Now certainly you could use your uh, markers, your Stampin' Blends, if that's what you love to use, your alcohol markers. Yeah, the watercolor pencils would work really well, but this is just with the water painter. So lots of fun there coloring that little guy. He is so, so cute. And here I paired it with the Bermuda Bay and gray, and I thought this one turned out super well. Also, super, super cute. So those are our samples with Darling Donkey and that ombre paper. Okay, let us know if you have any questions. Oh, yes, thank you, Dale. Before we go, I wanna go ahead and show you the three different things that I have for um, Prize Patrol for this event. So we have this beautiful Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon. We're going to be pulling a name from those that participated in the scavenger hunt. And if you haven't done that yet, it's posted in this group. You still have time to post your answers. 
I'm not going to announce winners by random draw of any of these prizes until Tuesday evening, about six o'clock, depending on what time I get home from work. But this is going to be the prize for a lucky winner that participates in the scavenger hunt. It's all you have to do to be entered for a chance to win it. Then, this super fun Shark Frenzy stamp set is going to be going out to a lucky winner. And all you need to do to be entered for a chance to win this stamp set is to comment or share the three videos that are going to be posted today. So again, you have until Tuesday, probably until about 5 o'clock in the evening, to make your posts so those that are watching the replay will still be eligible as well as those that are watching live and then also this enjoy the moment stamp set is going to be another giveaway so just leave a comment share the videos for a chance to be entered to win we will announce all winners tuesday evening okay Hi. anything else Steve? yeah sherry said earlier that she didn't hear the baby shark song in her head. I know. I don't know how you don't know that song, Sherry, but uh, you are you're lucky. probably a lucky one <laughs> that you don't know that song. But I can't look at this stamp set and what baby shark. I cannot look at this stamp set and not sing the song. I guess partially because um LaDonna's little grandson Logan, he loved the baby shark song. We mm. even listened to the baby shark song in Spanish, y'all, which was hilarious. So that is it for now for video number two and celebrating celebration. We will be back at 11 o'clock with more products and samples to show you. And that is when we will have you meet the suite. We've got, um, I think about three or four suites that we're gonna show you a little bit more in depth. So be sure and join us back. Thank you.